All right, there we go. Yeah, huh? It's almost a little, you can see where they filled it in over there. Wow, so that was all the way down too. That's how low the other parking lot was. What's going on, friends? Risk Discovery is coming at you from the canal line on this beautiful day. You can see a beautiful sunny day out. <clears throat> Hope you can hear me. I had my mic in a, in a plant over here and it, it didn't work right. But anyways, we're riding along the canal line, the old New York, New Haven, and Hartford Railroad. You know, the tracks used to come right through here. And there's a lot of old rail history around here because of that. And this is one of those neat things that I thought was pretty cool and I'd share it with you. Check this out. Alongside the trail here where the tracks used to be, is this little... uh piece of rail and park a train probably to unload and service whatever buildings used to be here so unfortunately this whole area has been redeveloped and changed and looked nothing like this when this was in use probably had a building really close to where I'm standing I would assume look at this huh there's uh, the bridge over here too well there was I'll show you in a minute isn't that cool we've been here a long time glad they decided to keep it it's not really in the way and they, they kind of like fenced it off like that. They leave it on mode so it looks more natural. I think it looks really cool. I would love to have something like this in my yard. And then I found a date over here somewhere. Let's go in for a closer look, hold on. Try to get down here. I don't know if you could see it or not because I can barely see the screen right now. It says 1923 there somewhere, right here. Again, I can't tell if you can see it, but it's there. <laughs> it's another one here. There we go. Another one here on the bracket. 1923. Little bracket that holds them together. But yeah, you can see it used to go up here and then at some point up there went back to the main line. Now I don't know how far this is still under here. There's a little bit. See, I just dug back a little bit, but I'm not trying to tear up all the lawn. <laughs> but they filled this in once, you know, when they did this. I don't know. Makes you wonder how much it's it's still under there. That's cool. There is bits and pieces all along here, little tidbits of history hidden, you know, little things like this, the old telegraph poles, and this bridge over here. Come take a look at this. I showed one of these old train bridges before, but this one has been filled in. Now clearly when they redid this parking lot, the canal must have came right under here at one point, continued down that way or something. But there was water under here at one point. That is really cool. Yeah, I assume, assuming it was water under here at one point. Let's go around and take a look at the other side. Yeah, I filmed one of these little canal bridges, I think last summer, just down a little bit. It looked like this. Isn't that neat how it's just still there? You can see it, but it's all filled in. Again, clearly this has all been redone. But I saw that and I was like, wow, that is really cool. Let's go take a look at the other side because the other side is still open. Yeah, let's try to make our way down. It's one of those old poles. I love those things too. Uh-oh. Hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah, look at these. The old belt system. Transcontinental cable signs. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Call collect. But anyways, here's the other side of that bridge. A lot of stuff in there but this one i don't know this one's narrow and higher than the other one i almost wonder what went under here like i said maybe it's just high because that's where the tracks are but well obviously but you know what i mean most of them didn't look like that I wonder if that was a tunnel of sorts for uh, maybe a trolley or a car or something i don't really want to go in there because it looks like there's a lot of stuff in there but I'll try to get a closer look hold on all right there we go yeah, huh? It's almost a little, you can see where they filled it in over there. Wow, so that was all the way down too. That's how low the other parking lot was. Really cool, huh? So I don't know if it was, probably for the canal, I would assume. But who knows? I mean, it could have been a car, trolley, another train. I doubt it. Hard to see if there's any soot up top. But I don't know. Yeah, that's really cool looking. Beautiful old bridge. 1800s, 1830s, I think, when they did this. I can't remember now. I'm sorry. But yeah, all right. So let's try to get it back. Doesn't look like anything's been through here since the 1830s either. <laughs> all right. I'm going to have to figure this out. 
you know, you can't really see it, but it came out and then went this way. Comes out to this beautiful field back here. It's like this canal right there, but it doesn't go anywhere. So that just might be an offspring of it. It might be drainage. I don't know, but well, something was here at one time. Right there. I said right there. <laughs> now I'm falling. Look at this old fence. It's like they fenced this off at one time decades ago. And there's more of it. And there's nothing really down here. Back up. The tracks, right? Got my bike's still up there. That's cool. I love these signs. Yeah, that's where they built it up for the tracks. <sighs> I gotta go up there. Get over this fence, drop in for the outro. Ooh, man. Yeah, it's hole for the stuff. Hopefully, you can see me. Drop it in for the outro. Get excited. All right, well, hopefully, you enjoyed it. I did. I was just out here riding. I saw some cool history. Figured I would share it with you. Now I gotta head back, unfortunately. It's a beautiful day out. And these shirts soak up the sun and. Maybe I'll find one of them telegraph poles on the way back home. Don't know if I'm going to be able to keep or use any of this, but this clearly was a building that was serviced by the tracks at one point. Pretty cool. Then they added on to it over the years. And this used to go straight through, but then when they rebuilt this bridge for the parkway, made it wider, they just uh, they moved the trail around. Which I do love hitting that at speeds when I'm out recording. But yeah, I used to go straight through there. Now all this is here. And there is water down there. So that must have been off the road. So that must have been for water. And look, back onto the original alignment with one of the original bridges. And it's blurry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Another dope old bridge. Old iron. I'll come back and look at these bridges one day. It's beautiful out here. Another dope original bridge here. All the irons underneath it. And look what I just found here. A couple old ties still in the ground. Probably still all under here. And your old telegraph pole. Yeah, beautiful. Down in the discovery world, my friends. Especially on a beautiful day like today. So much to see.